there I am. Hello and welcome to the studio, my name is Scott, and this is the time of year where a lot of people will set goals for themselves. You may have given yourself a New Year's resolution to improve some aspect of your life, whether it's to improve your skills on the guitar, to get more gigs, get more students, whether it's to get fitter, lose weight, earn more money. Now, I'm a guitar teacher and professional guitarist, so everything that I talk about in this video is gonna to relate to those things. But you can apply this mindset to anything that you want to achieve. And it's the idea of infinite progression. My knees made a funny noise. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, why is he wearing that stupid hat? Well it's because I look a little bit like an extra from Mad Max at the moment, I don't really know what to do with this. So I'm going to keep it on for a little while if you don't mind. So what is infinite progression? Well it's the idea that you don't focus on an end goal. You don't have a specific goal in mind for yourself that when you reach it, you feel successful because you've reached that goal. Instead, you focus on the process. So here is you. You look like Doug Funny, apparently. No complaints that it's not a girl either, actually. There we go. Now we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> now this represents you starting your journey on the guitar. So you start learning, and if you don't have any particular goal, if you don't have anything in mind, you start moving forward, you feel like you're improving a little bit, you don't know whether you're improving, you've got nothing to focus on, you go backwards, it's, it's completely aimless and directionless. Now with a goal in mind, which could be up here somewhere, now you've got something clear to aim for. So you start playing, you learn things that lead to that point. Now it's my job to break this big goal into smaller goals, which will help you feel like you're improving and getting to the end result, getting to that point there. That's your main goal, no matter what it is. Now, achieving these smaller goals help motivate you to practice more. You feel like you're going closer to that. It could be getting a specific um, finger exercise quicker and quicker and quicker until it gets to the speed that you need for a song. It could be being able to play a strum pattern a certain amount of times until you can play along with a full song. It could be something smaller, something bigger, like learning a full album. It could be writing your own song, your first song. It could be anything. But what happens when you get to that point? Now, this is something that happened to me. These smaller goals were grades. I learned through the RGT grades. I learned from one book. The book taught me everything I needed to know. To enter an exam room, I would get examined in the way that I played, the way that I know the stuff in the book, and I move forward to the next grade, and the next one, and the next one, until I reach grade eight. Now, you're told that there's only eight grades. You're told when you get to grade eight, you know everything you need to know to be a professional musician. Now, for my personal journey on the guitar, when I reached that final goal and I achieved what I wanted to achieve for so long, I quit. <laughs> because there was no real goal, no clear, specific goal after that that meant something to me. From the beginning, I'd been so focused on that one thing, that one goal, when I got it, and there was no specific goal after that, it was it was very difficult for me to deal with, really. I had all this information in my head, loads of wonderful exotic scales and chords. I could play them, I could play anything that I wanted to play, but I had no real use for that. I had no love for the sound of that. I hadn't been listening to what I was playing for so long. And I just kind of lost touch. I, I, I just kind of, I just stopped doing it because I didn't, I just felt a little bit... Bleh. And that's something that I find happens with some of my students that achieve a lot, either quickly or at a very young age, where, you know, they're really goal focused, they're very driven the same way that I was, and they get to that end goal and you don't know what to do next. You've got nothing to, to aim for after that. And that's the problem with being focused on the goal. Now, the alternative is focusing on the process. Now, when I say process, I mean the system that we use to get from one goal to another, that bit in between. What are the important parts of that that we need in our system? So as guitarists, what does a good system look like for us? So the first thing, the most important thing that we need to be very good at, at a good habit to get into, is to start. Start playing guitar, to pick it up and play. That's sometimes the most difficult thing to do. Now what helps with that is having your instrument accessible. 
Don't tuck it away under the bed. Have it there with you wherever you spend most of your time. I need to write those a bit bigger. <laughs> and just to say, there's gonna be a full PDF of this available in the link below. You can click it and download it if you want to, minus the spelling mistakes. <laughs> and I would say that that's the most important thing. You can sometimes get overwhelmed with some stuff, that things in life get in the way. The Christmas holidays just happened. I haven't played my guitar for a long time. I had a little bit of a break afterwards, I'm wandering through some woods aimlessly, shaking up my thoughts. I haven't played guitar for a while. I like coming back into it fresh, listening to things differently. And that's what I found when I, when I came back to the guitar after the first time I, I kind of quit and I stopped playing, my physical ability was nowhere near where it used to be. And that's something that took the longest to come to terms with. So if you, if you find that you don't play for a month or a couple of weeks or a year even, having the mindset that I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna start. That's the important thing to get. It's not... I, I, I may as well just give up now because I haven't played for a little while, I've lost what I've gained. That's not the attitude to have. You need to be able to start. <laughs> now the next thing that's really important is a time commitment. You've gotta commit some time to it. And that's gonna mean different things for different people depending on your ability level and how long you've been playing and that kind of thing. But what comes along with that is having a good routine. Yeah, I know, my writing's awful. And when I say practice routine, I don't just mean your routine when you practice, I mean committing time to it in your routine, in your daily life. When can you commit time in the next week ahead to playing guitar? Commit to it, put it in the diary, tell people about it, say I'm practicing guitar, don't ask me to take the bins out, I'm practicing guitar. Don't ask me to feed the children, I'm playing guitar. <laughs> oh, food. I need food. And that's something that I'm using regularly with fitness and things. I need to get fit. I need to actually improve my lifestyle, make better choices for myself. I know it's unrelated to guitar stuff. But if I know that I need to go to the gym and I leave it up to myself on the day, I might wake up and I won't feel like going. I might not be in the mood to go that day. If I wake up in the morning, my, that on the day self, might be completely different to the yesterday self. So if the yesterday person decides everything that happens that week, when you're committed, when you, you know, you're know thinking about it and think, right, this is where I'm doing it, this is where I'm doing that, you wake up in the morning and you've already committed to that. You've already, you've already, you're already there. And the same thing applies to this. Fit it in with your day, think about when you can fit it in, commit to it and do it. And in my opinion, I feel like those are the important things for me, That that's what I find uh, I'm trying to teach people. That's what guitar lessons are with me. It's not about learning a song one week, learning a song the next week. How can I teach people this through that song that they want to do? Now, this isn't to say that we are not going to have any goals. The goals are still going to be there, but we are not going to focus on them so much. They're just going to serve as a way to measure the success of your system. How good, how well does your system or your process work for you? by focusing on the process instead, the progress is infinite. And I feel like this mindset is a very good way to approach it if you don't really have as much time as you'd like to practice. If you're the type of person that beats yourself up, if you, you know, you, you always feel like, oh, what if I didn't, what if I kept playing through those last six months and I didn't really stop and start, or you feel like you fall off the rails a little bit. Now, certain types of people fall off the rails, they never come back to it and they kind of give up, but, what we need to put in place are the tools to put you back on track over and over again. That's what you want to get good at. So if you don't have time to play, if you feel like you're off the rails, think of it like an opportunity to learn how to start again. Just come back in again, get on the rails, and that's the goal. Put these different things in place, put the good system, the good habits in place that make you a better guitarist. 